Hi, boys and girls. Now I have something else that I would love for you to do, but you have to ask your parents if you can use these things, okay? And they might need to help you a little bit. It's an experiment about salt water and fresh water. And I'll explain that in a minute. I went to the beach the other day just to see the sunshine and the beach and I got a little bit of water. Shh, it's a secret, don't tell. This is real salt water. If you look at it compared to the fresh water, can you see a difference? Probably not. So this experiment, well, I'm not gonna tell you the answer until we do it. So you're going to fill two cups that you can see through or glasses if mom and dad don't mind with cold water. Important that it's cold, like the ocean is cold. And then we're going to add, and I'm gonna guesstimate because I don't really need to know for sure, about two teaspoons, that's like a spoon you might eat your cereal with, of salt to only one glass. So I'm gonna add it to this one. That's about, about one, about two. Look at the funny part about this now. This one looks cloudy. This one's nice and clear. So when you make your own, it is going to look a little bit different. Now, we're going to add a little bit of food coloring and it really does not matter what color, but you might wanna ask mom or dad to help you with this because this is hard without getting it all over you. Just a couple of drops to the fresh water glass. Kind of cool. The only color I had was green. So this is our salt water. This is fresh water. This is also salt water. We are just, I have an eyedropper. If you don't have one of these, you can gently pour, gently, maybe do this outside. We're going to put a few drops of the colored fresh water. It's not really too green yet. Let's stir it up a little. Didn't remember to bring a spoon. You might have to stir it with a spoon. There we go. A few drops of the colored fresh water to the salt water. You can keep squeezing. It's good practice for those little muscles. And like I said, if you don't have one of these, and I might not have made it dark enough, you could take this and gently pour it. You wanna try and pour it along the side. Pour some of it into the salt water like that. I want to see what would happen with the real salt water. And then you just kind of wait and watch and see what happens. I'm not gonna tell you what happens. What we're trying to find out is fresh water heavier than salt water. We've done sink and float before. So if something sinks, is it heavier or lighter? Come on. You're right, it's heavier. If something floats, it's lighter. So can we see anything happening yet with our water? might take a little bit because usually I add the salt water and let it sit for a little bit first. So that's a clue. But over here in our salt water from the ocean, I don't know if you can see it very well. What's happening? Is the green on the top or the bottom? I'm going to let you decide. Try this experiment at home on your own and see what happens. You can try it more than once. I will tell you if you want to do it again, you have to dump out the salt water and start with another cup of clear cold water and then add the salt again. Have fun doing this experiment. Let me know what you find out. Take care, boys and girls. Bye-bye.